Hello book besties! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash and you are watching Spookshelves. Welcome back to another reading vlog with not a lot of reading. Are we really surprised at this point? It is currently December 16th so like halfway through when this vlog was supposed to start and I think I have like two clips of me studying for finals. <laughs> uh, oops, clearly it's been hectic and time consuming and I've been studying <laughs> <laughs> taking exams. I actually have one in about an hour and a half from now as I'm recording. Yeah, so I haven't really been doing much reading. I've also been having a very bad spell of insomnia, so my sleeping schedule is also a little bit off. It's all around interesting. I woke up at like 5 a.m. and well, it's cleaning day, but I did chores. I've been doing chores. You can kind of trust me when I say I've been doing chores. Sorry about that, <laughs> but also not really. Not much I can control with the fact that I've been locked in a room or at the library and not thinking about catching clips of anything really. I, I think I have like some of the most random clips from this past week. You'll know before I do what I've got going on because I honestly don't remember. But I do have one reading update actually. I decided a couple nights ago when I was struggling to sleep to read Dipped in Holly by Dana Isley. It was fun. It was a 60 something page novella so it was very quick to get through. It took me like an hour, maybe a little longer. That is where I'm at with my reading. I read it. It was three stars. I liked it a little bit less than Games We Play by her, which I read at the end of last month. But it was very fun, very festive, very steamy. It's hard to love a novella the same way you love longer books. Wouldn't go back and read it again, but I had fun with what I had. I'm like low-key making my way through all of their published works because the writing is addicting. If you're at all interested in that book, basically, I don't want to get too much away because it's so short. Basically, it starts off with Holly, who is having a bit of a meltdown because she was broken up in public by her boyfriend on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. I think it's Christmas Eve. The owner of the bar that they were in goes to find her and they end up having a one night stand. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I'll say. I suggest it. It was quick. And what will I pick up next? Who knows? Out of character. Maybe <laughs> I've been saying it for weeks, but maybe I'll actually finally pick it up this weekend. But yeah, those are my reading updates. As for life updates, I am doing something fun tomorrow and I will just like let those clips speak for itself. But so excited that this has worked out in my favor. And then I leave in a week. Like I leave to go home in a week. I leave from Edinburgh on Mon Tuesday morning. I'm just getting through these last few days here, getting exams done. I have two more, like I said, one in like an hour and a half and then one on Monday. That's pretty much all I've got. So I will go for now. Bye.
Hello friends. It is Friday, December 17th. That sounds about right. I just got back from New York. You would have seen, I don't even know how many clips, but I had a great day and I bought a few things. So I would just like to share what I bought. So welcome to this mini haul in my vlog. I have a bag of goodies. It is mostly food because that is the kind of person I am. But the first thing that I got was, okay, I got sea salt fudge from Raleigh's, Raleigh's Fudge. Ooh, hold on. It's a little creaky. I saw they have good fudge, so I bought it. That was for me. And then I got, for my parents, I bought another set of fudge. I didn't really care about the flavor. Um, this one is vanilla clotted cream. I think it'll be good. Honestly, I might try both. I think they might both go home with me, but yes, fudge for the family because we like to bring home, we like to bring home the sweets from where we travel. I'm here from Market and my friend wanted to look and see if there was any gin that she liked because the classmate of ours got her into gin. So we did not actually end up buying any of the gin that we were interested in potentially getting. She's looking for a very specific brand, so she's probably just gonna go buy it at the regular store. But she was just looking, branching out, and we did happen to try this brand of vodka that is really good. It's very sweet, which is, can you see their name? It's Kin, and it's Toffee Apple. Um, so I bought this bottle of Toffee Apple. She bought like a slightly smaller bottle of just like toffee. It is so sweet. Like it does not taste like vodka. But to be fair, it says vodka spirit drink. So I wonder if that just means it's like slightly less intense. It is very, very good. We tried samples of it. Yeah, I'm not sure what I would mix this with since it is so sweet. We were just thinking lemonade or Sprite. If you have any insights, let us know. But yes, this is, like I said, Kin Vodka. Check them out. Okay, so a couple more items that I got. One is another food item. I always like to buy this dessert whenever I'm traveling places. It is one of my favorite desserts. And honestly, just if you can find a good shop that sells these and makes them well, it's, it's good. It's worth the splurge. So I got, I don't know, I guess, I assume this is the name of the place. Florian Pork Poirot. Poirot. Florian Poirot? I think that's right. Master Patissier. Anyways, the box does not say much. Oh, yep, and then they just give a list of things. And bear with me since one's missing. My friend got one, but it's just macarons. So there is mo mojito, lemon and lime, chocolate, another chocolate, salted caramel. Oh, wait, I have the list of flavors. Oh, I got gin and tonic for one of them, and coffee, that's the other. So those look very good. And if they are delicious, that is very good to know. So yeah, they have like, just flavors of, are they the same? Oh, wait, <laughs> I didn't realize there was double-sided. Okay, well, I definitely, I definitely am correct on what I said. That is them, one last little look at the package. And then this is like their socials, if you would like to check them out, and if you're in the UK in the area. And then finally, I guess this is blown up all over TikTok, but I've just seen videos around of it in the past few years and knew about this place and like to grab little trinkets from places that I visit. And last time I was in New York, many years ago, I did not have a chance or time to go to the store, but that is the York Ghost Merchants. So I just picked up their like, I guess, business card. I'm gonna like pin it up. I have a little pin board, I'll put it up. And then I have the box with my little ghost. And it's such a cute little, like, I love this box. I wanna keep the box too. It's so, it's so cute. It's literally so cute. Yeah, so let's just. I'll show you what mine looks like. It's wrapped up, so give me a sec. By the way, the vibes in the store. This is my little ghosty. I like it, it's like all black and gray. I like the little like two-tone situation going on. I think it's so cute. I don't know, I love it. I think it's adorable and they're meant to be like good luck basically. And it's adorable and I love it. So that's my little, my little ghosty. I wanna name it. So if you have any idea for the name, let me know. Comment that down below. If you have any ideas, please. I would love to hear your suggestions. Yeah. Isn't this so cute? I love it. Okay. Anyways, that is the last of it. Um, not too much, mostly food. I also have dinner, but not here nor there. Plus, most of it. I have dinner from York Roast because apparently that's what they're known for. So, yeah, that was my day. And I'm gonna go now because I don't have any reading the updates and I'm mostly just gonna go back to studying for finals.
Tuesday the 21st. It is very early in the morning. I don't even think it's sunny out yet. No, it's starting to get there. It's starting to get there. Yeah, it is Tuesday. Today's the day I go to London. I am all packed. You have seen me throw in like some montage at something. I cannot believe my first term is over. Absolutely wild. I'm third done with my degree, which is really weird to think considering, you know, undergrad takes four years. But yeah, I'm really, I'm really glad to be going home. We'll see how travel is with restrictions and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I can get home, test negative, get home and not have to worry about anything really. I don't have much else to say. I have not been reading. It's been a hectic time. Oh yes I have been reading. Oh my god I don't think I updated this. If I did I'll cut this all out but if I didn't um I read what is the name of the book? It was a novella. Scream for us. There we go. I read Scream for Us, which I know is a Halloween book, but they're releasing a Christmas book soon. So I was like, let me see how I feel about it. But this one is a reverse harem and it said Halloween. This girl goes to a Halloween party and yeah, she's approached by a group of men. It was, it was something. Definitely feel like it went a little bit off the rails. I gave it three stars. I, I really don't have much to say. It's been a little while and it was a very quick read. Very short novella. Pretty much all I gotta say about it. What I can say is it was three guys, one girl. So there's that. And it was, it was you know, good smart, but maybe not my favorite book. <laughs> um, I think we'll see. I'm probably gonna read the next one just because they're so short and so easy to get through. No guarantees, but uh, yeah, that's like everything I've gotta say. I leave in an hour, not even. I like leave here in like 20 minutes. I leave Edinburgh in like an hour. So yeah, next thing you'll see is a bunch of clips from me from London and then I'll be home. Oh my god, maybe I'll check in with you when I'm back in the States. Weird thing to say.